All right, this is Mountain Blade Warband, um, the Viking edition. Now, this is the first time booting it up on my new computer. Um, it's not really my new computer anymore, but still pretty damn new. Um, I'm using a new setup. Uh, everything is going through this headset that I'm wearing. So, should all be a lot better audio. I should be a lot louder, a lot more easy to, to hear. Okay, so enough about me, more about the game. Um, I've only ever played this once before, and it is ten times the difficulty of the normal Mountain Blade. Um, I was here pretty much my entire playthrough. I, I mean, I bounced around here and whatnot, and I, I mean, I basically went everywhere except over here. Um, oh my god, were tournaments... Because you don't get a horse in this one. Horses are actually like an end game item. Um, tournaments are more difficult. Just average fighting is more difficult. Everything is more difficult. Nobody gives a fuck what you think. <laughs> there are monasteries you can raid. Um, you, you can work at... Uh, you, you can make a living just by working the land. Like normal. Uh, here, look. You can earn a salary at farmsteads, quarries, salt mines, or lumber camps. You can obtain the regular quests and whatnot that you want to do, but you really got to make sure that the quest you're taking, like say I'm here and I got to kill a bandit, I got to make sure that that bandit isn't over here. Because then I got to get on a boat and sail over here. Or, or like, like, oh, I'll take a message for you. Where does it need to go? Oh, north. <laughs> Fucking uh, uh, Norway, way the fuck up here. All right, yeah. Fuck you too, Northumbria. So... That's a thing. Um, but this is set after the fall of Rome during the Great Viking Raids. Uh, the most prevalent weapons during that time were slings, uh, spears, axes. Everybody had those. Um, as well as javelins. Everybody loves their javelins. Bows weren't as popular. Um during this time period uh, as they were because uh, I, I mean you could do it all with a sling and with a sling or with a javelin you could still hold a shield and defend yourself although Northumbria was now known for its crossbows which you could fire from behind cover um, as well as a bit of Scotland I think the crossbow originated up here it was just a scorpion like a Roman mounted crossbow that they took off the mount and found to use one hand. Um, real good Anglo-Saxon weapon. Um, swords were starting to become kind of a popular thing, but those are still for the wealthy. Unlike in regular warband, you're not just going to have a sword. <clears throat> Most people have spears or axes, because the metal, the expensive part, there wasn't very much of it. It was mostly wood, and wood is cheap. Here's my guy. His, his name is Finley, because uh, he's a Scotto Pict, and Finley means white warrior. And that is what I am. So here's my, my guy, Finley. I didn't give him a last name, I was thinking about it. Finley McFinnigan or something. Um, I am in Scotland right now, in the Kingdom of Alban. Um, this is actually my second recording of this. I had to completely ditch my first one. Uh, because I got stuck in a loop of getting murdered by the same bandit group over and over. It was atrocious. I was, I was mad. I was very mad, and I just trashed the whole recording. Alright, there's nobody here. Last time I came here, because there was a, a tournament going on. Yeah, let's talk to you. Wow, that is a long-ass fucking name. Oh, sweet! Yeah, I'm a fucking squeen's right there. Best 30 bucks I ever made. What's up, bitches? Oh, hey, here are the competitions. Sweet. Alright, well, let's, let's... Business first. Business before pleasure. Um, I bring a message. Do you have any tasks? A hideout. 
I'm afraid I can't take that job at the moment, dude. That, that's how I got my ass kicked last time. Alrighty. Okay, so these competitions are a hell of a lot more difficult than the ones in uh, in Mountain in in regular Warband. So I will not be betting on myself unless I know I can win. Since it's two teams of eight, it's anybody's game. We're just going in. All right. Uh, infantry, hear me. Whoa. Follow me. It's a lot harder to give orders. I can just take you out, I can take your axe. Yes. Gimme, 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 gimme! Oh my god! See? Anybody's game! Fucking anybody's. Skill and bravery. Is that because I was the last one alive? Two teams of two. All right, let's let's make back some of our our lost renown here. Okay, good. They gave me a regular spear as well. I'm a flank. Okay, that was absolutely worthless. But attacking dudes in the back does extra damage. Okay, he got both those kills. Shit. Two teams of eight. This is how I fucking failed last time. Right, let's, let's just get right in there. Yeah, see? Extra damage for attacking in the back. In the mosh pit, man. Yes! I flanked! I flanked! I'm doing damage! I'm doing extra damage! We got the good guys on our team this time! Also, I'm going to be doing this one in third person, because there's a certain wolf gear that I I got last time. And the teeth poked down through the roof of it, and it was fucking annoying. Oh god, here they come. <laughs> eh. Alright, I'm going to distract when my buddy comes in for the kill. Teamwork! Teamwork! Finley for the win! Alright, I can do a 1v1, hopefully. Okay, they didn't fuck me. Last time they fucked me. Come on! Yeah, the overhand stab doesn't do a lot of damage, but if your opponent has a shield up, sometimes you can stab over their shield and hurt them anyways. Yes! Victory for Finley! Another 1v1, let's do it. See, just in that first round, I got a saving grace. Where is he? I don't like that there's like these ruins that he could be- Oh god. It, yep, he could be hiding behind. Gimme. 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 Oh wow. I'm bad. Stamp. 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 Oh god. I think the regular spear stabs faster than a javelin does. But if you hold the javelin, it'll stab the moment you release. So that's kind of nice. Alright, switching to a regular spear. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yep, regular spear better than the javelins in close quarters. They place a wreath of laurels upon my head. I didn't earn a whole lot of money. Not not the usual like four thousand extra. But ooh, a happy widow. Uh, for those of you who don't know, happy widows are prostitutes. Come here, take these coins as a gift. Time passes. You forget the rigors and fatigue from the journey that 
had lingered upon your soul. For a few hours your armor and sword, the fear of dying in a skirmish, the punishment of the rain and wind and the dust of the roads are all shoved under the small patch of happiness. But in the end, it all ends too soon and your friend quietly leaves the room. I got laid. Cause I'm a fucking tournament champ! Hooah. Oh yeah, you can get boats and sail. That's a thing. Fighting at sea is actually very difficult. I had a hell of a time trying to sail a boat. Oh, you can also get a dog as a friend. Okay, so this is the physician. If you're hurt or if you get a wound, like a heavy wound, you got to come to this guy to fix it. Otherwise, your stats are going to go down. Any women? No. But let's go talk to you. You had the honor of seeing me distinguish myself in the games. What? His eyes widen. As you know, they are ritual paintings, Finley. Among my people, there are golds and picks. They retain very few of their ancient traditions. We are Christians. But, he whispers, many of our customs many customs of our ancestors still exist among our people. Young warriors are expected to paint their bodies and join in the fray of battle and war before they are accepted in their homes as full-grown men. Women have the right to choose wives for their brother or for their brothers and children inherit through their mother's lineage. Painting our bodies and joining warrior brotherhoods is part of a tradition in which young people must pass some tests in order to reach maturity. Some tests still involve venturing into distant lands in search of cattle and treasure, then to come home with enough wealth to start a family. When the young people return, the war paint is removed from their bodies and they marry and integrate into regular society. There are not a few Pictish women. Wow, women do this too. It's not up to you whether to paint your body or not. If you do, you devote yourself to a very old tradition and to powers that are beyond your understanding. Form or join a group of young people. Make a name for yourself. Learn the camaraderie, friendship, and pride of being a Pict. Learn to command and obey. Gain the respect of your peers. Meet several women. Remove the war paint and rejoin society. I want to paint my body. Remove your garments and let my servant trace the lines on your body. Thank you, Torch. Ah, I will hunt him down. Oh, wow, yeah. Advances ritual equipment, advantages in certain skills. Okay, so I'm really lowering my armor by putting this on. 15 and 5 to 8 and 4. Cutting my armor almost in half. But ritual equipment, advantages in certain skills. Like, what? Oh, wow! Power strike, power throw. I got a bow and my athletics went up. Okay. So this is like... This is some fucking getting into the fray kind of shit. Well, let's see if we die. I, I would not mind fighting like this. Just know that I'm, I'm not going to be on the front lines. You know what? Let's test it out. You better not be a manhunter. Buttercup, really? Oh yeah, look at my fucking tats. Look at my tats! Oh, I'm looking awesome! Oh yeah, you can be a bandit lord in this game, and, and 
hire like ruffians and and thieves. Where the hell are they? Oh, there they are. I don't see any shields among the group, so chances are they're all going to be firing sling rocks at me. I'll need to uh, keep my wits about me. Especially now that I'm nude. That is going to hurt. You out with a knife. Finley. <laughs> just, just shout my name at the end of every battle. Finley. <laughs> oh, hey, I got sling rocks. All right. I need all the armor I can get now that I'm nude. You know what? I'm not gonna sell that. It's just I'm I'm gonna remove it. I'm gonna remove this. Heavy equipment. Huh. I wonder if there's a non-heavy shield. I was headed to you, wasn't I? Yeah, you go to the farmstead and you can actually work. But I don't feel like doing that right now. Um, oh, and if I want to recruit people, I gotta get the village elders permission. Which is weird. Because, like, normally you don't have to, you know? But, uh, this game has quite a few settings that add realism. That was one of the ones I chose. Alright, so yeah, now I've got this thing. Which is incredibly accurate, and if I if I remembered, whoa, how to, yeah, see with Z, I can crouch, and, yeah, I'm, I'm now a smaller target, and that is really accurate, and really long distance, but like the crossbow, you have to load it standing still, now, I know the knife ain't much of a weapon, so I need to get my hands on a thing called a long seeks, as soon as possible. Alright, there he is. Now, I'm gonna load this. Because I'm gonna fucking wing one of these at him when I get the chance. Oh, here he comes! God damn! Yeah! 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 I got some good licks in! Yes! Child, get out of here! Men are fighting! Stains the dirt. His blood seeps into the snow. Way to go, Finley. Alright, our goal is to be a famous warrior. Because you can set goals for yourself, and I'll actually help tell you how to achieve those. That's really nice. Alright, trade with the locals. Let's see if they have. Uh, a seeks that I might be able to grab. Oh wait, I should... 14? 13? Yeah. Give me those. Oh! No, 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 no. I don't want... I don't want to sell... 
either of those just yet. Now let's go... Oh, wow. The... <laughs> okay, the, the Guldic Longsword was something I finally managed to get in my first ever playthrough, and I actually did not like it. it it's too long, it gets jammed up. Uh, I actually found a lot more use out of the Pictish Axe, which I could afford. 29. Oh wow, the thrust on this thing is 20? God damn. But no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get me, I'm gonna get myself a one-handed axe. I mean, I could get myself a long axe, which is better. I'm gonna get myself a long axe just in case I, I want to use it uh, two handed. Because then I can really swing for the fences. Um, now let's get my 300 bucks to help kind of take some of the some of the edge off of that. You know, all that money I just doled out. Anything else? No? Alright. Let's go to the meat hall. So there's a ransom broker. Ba -ba -ba. I love that I can just click sell everybody. Nah. I, I need to keep my virginity about me. I really wish this game was co-op, you know? Alright, so there's nothing going on right now. Ooh, wait. I need to go talk to the bard in the, in the meat hall. Bard! Okay, maybe the bard was in the, the king... The, the, the lord's hall. Yes! Bard! None of this is what I was hoping for. Well, shit. I'm, I'm trying to find out where the, where the nearest feast is. So, so I can... Yeah, we'll, we'll go to Ridgemont. Or Ridgemontade. Yes, I know I still have many tasks to complete my goal. I just set the goal. That's how goals work. You start at zero, and then you build up. All right, I'm going to end this one here. I'll pick it up with you guys the when something interesting is about to happen.